we're going to get your first mythic or godly unit? Well, perfect. Well, not perfect. But you came to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to get all of these mythics today. You just got to make sure you're already liked and subscribed before we get into it. First and foremost, the easiest way, in my opinion, to get a mythic is by summoning it. And if you didn't know this already, beating nightmare mode on any map is your best way to get coins quickly. So that being said, if you don't have a mythic to beat one of these nightmare modes, that's okay. There's a lot of viable units that beat nightmare mode that aren't mythic units. The number one candidate for this is the Frost DJ Speaker Man. If you didn't get this, it's unfortunately too late for you, but you definitely could trade for it. This unit will help you beat any map. Normally, I use a Santa TV Man. However, it is a mythic, so technically, I can't use it today because we're trying to get our first mythic, but honestly, it's so easy to get. I guarantee you if I open one of these Santa crates, I could get a Santa TV Man right now. However, I'm not going to do that. But honestly, trading for Santa crates would be the easiest way to get your first mythic if you just want to have one. Santa TV man value is so down. So because of that, we're going to be running our good old friend, the pumpkin farmer. You can also use a scientist cameraman, but I'm pretty sure most people have a Santa TV man. I really do. We'll equip them all. Sure, why not? Ah! Typically, to beat legendary mode, it takes usually anywhere between 15 minutes to 20 minutes, depending on what units you use. Today, with just a legendary cameraman or the Frost DJ, we should be able to beat this mode in roughly 18-ish minutes. Place the legendary down right here like so. Bet you've never seen something like this before. The science cameraman next to a pumpkin farmer next to a Santa TV man. It's beautiful, isn't it? The trifecta you never knew you needed. I'm looking at the scientist cameraman upgrades now, and it's... It's so bad. Oh. Why is the scientist cameraman so bad? I'm looking at the pumpkin farm upgrades too, and he's also bad. Oh. For example, I'm spending $500 to get an extra $150 from the Santa TV man. When $500 from the pumpkin gives me $50, when $600 from the scientist gives me $100. Yeah, so if there's anything you should take away from this video so far, it's definitely that the Santa TV man is the best farm unit. Toilets are barely even getting the chance to spawn. That's how strong the frost D DJ man is. Look at how bad the scientist cameraman is. For $5,000, I get an extra $500. i am starting to be under the impression that the only way to go is the Santa TV man. I don't know if my mind can be changed. And with how our units are placed right now, it doesn't really get much better than this. This is literally all you need. The Frost DJ will basically be able to handle the rest of Nightmare Mode at a pretty good pace. We have 10 placed down. We have our max farm units placed down as well. So we are just going to start selling units so we can place more Frost. DJs because that's just how this game works. After this, I'm gonna see how long it takes for us to trade for a mythic only using a small amount of coins. As you can see, here we are at wave 50, taking care of the giant smooth toilet like no one's business. And we're able to complete nightmare mode in approximately 16 minutes and scooping up 1800 coins along the way. Bon appetito, por favor. Now that we have these coins, I am gonna try our best to trade for what I think is fair value of a mythic. Technically speaking, 10 legendaries equals one mythic, but that's not always the case because you have things like the elf camera woman, which is one of the most inflated units in the game. Either way, we're still gonna try our best to trade for a mythic. Let's go. We're literally just gonna try to get these by randomly sending out trade requests and asking if they have a mythic. Do you have a mythic? We're not trading for a godly here. We're just looking for a mythic. We are going to try to leverage our Santa crates in this trade. Okay, so he has a si the Sinister TV man, which is a really, really good unit. Okay, so, okay. He didn't let me finish my trade. If we were going to get a mythic, I wasn't really expecting it to be the Sinister, to be honest with you. Mr. Cappy. Okay, he has a glitch. Okay, so we're going to start off with just three Santa crates. We're going to do a hunter. We're going to do a larger cameraman. We're gonna do an elf, and the capybara didn't like that one either. So it seems like whenever you flash legendaries for mythics, people don't seem to like that very much. See, that's what we're gonna ask. What do you want for it? This is a large laser cameraman. This is technically more valuable than other mythics right now. Oh, you want chef? No shot. Not happening. Okay. All right. My man's got UTS, Glitch, and Sinister. Why did he trade? I was going to ask him what the value for one was. Oh my gosh. These guys, bro. Always trying to fleece you. Oh my God. My guy has the engineer. Wait, what do you want for that? I would give up a godly for this, by the way. I would easily give up a godly.
ungodly. Oh, there's a million of these. So it's not even that rare. Lamau. And he left. Okay. We're gonna ask our man Quisito what mythics he has. He has the sinister. And he left. Why do people not talk? I'm not gonna just show you what I have. Like, talk to me, man. Come on. All right. I'm gonna ask him what he wants for one. Is it better to just outright offer? Maybe. But I just wanna see what he wants for one. We're gonna try our best to trade for it. What do you have for it? All right. Let's be smart here. We'll splash five Santa crates. Two large laser cameramen. People really like the mech. 300 gems. It's kind of a lot. Um, I don't know. All right, he wants me to add to this. My man's running the calculations in his brain. If this is worth the Titan to the moment, which is actually the, the worst mythic. I have like five of these. But I want to see for you guys how much it would cost. These are slightly more rare right now, which is why I think I can get away with it. Like 600,000 of these exist when only... Like, the, Basically, the same amount of these exist. I think he's gonna accept it, to be honest. All right, we just went ahead and splashed in two dancing speaker woman, three titan speaker man, and two jetpack speaker man. He said, oh, well, I just added six legendaries. Is this not good to him? I, I swear when I talk to some of these people, they talk in hieroglyphs. Like, I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm giving up too much. So after my note taking, we can walk away and say that it would have cost me five Santa crates and 10 legendaries and 300 gems to get one mythic. Yeah, that math is not mathing. That would not have been worth it for us at all but we could have traded for one without giving up a mythic but we don't want that to be the only way that we get a mythic unit let's do the math how long it would take for you to summon a mythic on your own so everyone welcome to the hopeless math channel this is the game show where i'm going to show you how long it would statistically take or how many coins it would take to summon one titan cinema man so if you were to use a luck boost right now you would boost the titan cinema man percentage to 0.4 percent which means for every three summons you would have a 1.2 percent chance of getting a mythic or if you were to summon 10 times you would have a four percent chance you do the math if you were to summon basically meaning that if you were to summon 25 times of a thousand coins or how much is it of 900 coins you would get a mythic 100 all you need is a luck boost so to find out exactly how many coins you need it's gonna be 25 times 900 which is 22,500 coins that's the magic number the magic number to get one mythic is 22,500 100 coins so an even better question to be asking yourself is how many nightmare mode runs does that take to get and let's say you were doing three per hour on three different accounts which is so easy to do by the way either way after my math to get 21,600 coins of just doing legendary modes that would take you about 12 runs which is close if you did it only on one account is about three hours it's a little bit more than three hours not by much just a tad so pretty soon i am going to just rip the bandit off and do it in one video where i get that mythic in only one hour i guarantee you that i'll do it you can also afk farm at any point in time no matter when you want so do always keep that in mind either way thank you guys so much for watching you guys know i love you and i appreciate you if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you guys do that if you haven't already watched yesterday's video make sure you do that as well either way you just got hopeless and i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye, -bye.